Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. On the 28th of April and the 29th, uh, What Arty Nibs on Facebook held a competition for the highest base XP that could be scored in each of the various tiers that um, uh, Wargaming have Arty for. Um, and this is the SU-18. It's the Tier 2 SPG, the Soviet SPG, based on the MS-1. And it's located on the south spawn of Abbey. And the commander of this vehicle is me. It's General Disturbance. Yes, this was my entry. Um, and you can see my SU-18 has a Wargaming symbol on the side. Um, the 76mm regimental gun and we're about to take action or we'll start action now what RT Noobs has, um, has held the uh, RT contest before uh, but previously it was only for a single day but this time round we held it over a weekend to get everyone more than enough chance to actually take part Okay, I knocked a tree down there. I shouldn't have done that. It's a bit naughty, but this is only tier two. So therefore chances of me actually uh, um, alerting the enemy are very, very slim because the enemy has a very short range on their arties too. Okay, we're looking for a target on the main road to the Abbey and we've got our first victim. It's a light Vic round out. It looks like I missed him, but he was tracked by somebody else and taken out right we've got a t3 hmc that's a tier three is tier two american uh tank destroyer and i'm loading the one thing about the su18 it's got a very limited range actually very short range and it's quite a slow rt it's based on the ms1 the uh, tier one soviet spg and there we've got an r35 now it's a tier two french tank with a very heavy armor and about the only thing that can take it out is an arty. With a 76mm gun, we can punch through that armour. But I need to hit him first. Fire around. Oh no, it's a bit short. I was trying to anticipate where he was going. Round out again. This time I get him. Okay, we've got a 7.8 second reload. And I've got 18 rounds left at the moment. Okay, we've found another uh, enemy, an M2. Oh, that was fairly close. He is very close to me at the moment, but I, I sort of like aimed at him and managed to get a good leading shot into him. Fire another one. That time I hit him again. 55 hit points. So I'm racking up some hit points here. He's been stopped and he was taken out by the Lut Light 35. Now I've got a strip M38. He's in the ruins in the village. And I get a good, good, good big hit there. 76 hit points. But he's hiding behind the houses. He knows he's in danger. And there's that R35 again. He's coming into view. And I'm trying to dial in on him. Um, fortunately, my teammate... Or the uh, Striv goes down. My teammate managed to take him out. I'm lining up the Striv again. The R35 again, the rather. And that light tank 35 is trying to get away from him. And with good reason. Because those... Uh, R35s can be dangerous. Okay, we've got a T1 HMC. That's the enemy RT. Round out. Oh, that's a kill shot. One shot kill. Takes out the AT1. Okay, that R35 again. And I get a big hit there and I tracked him this time. Got a nice sizzle against the hull. He's tracked. I can get another round into him. And I do. And he's still tracked. Line him up for another shot. Dialed in. Round out. Uh, looks like I only tracked him this time. Didn't do any damage as such other than tracking him. And he gets taken out by our T1 HMC. Well, we're down. We're up two tanks now. But an enemy T2 medium has made it into the cap area. Or well, he's close to the cap area. Lining up a shot to defend myself. Round out. Nope. Missed that one. Reloading. He doesn't seem to be aware of me. And he is now because I just took him out. Uh, so, right, I'm repositioning myself because just in case the enemy did spot me, I don't want them to be laying an arty shell onto me. But I decide to move forward because most of the enemy are in the enemy area. And uh, that's out of range. So I need to get there as quickly as I can 
because there's only eight enemy remaining and I'm close enough to hit that Panzer 1C or Panzer 1 rather I should say not Panzer 1C I fire around anticipating him moving forward but he didn't I've got six rounds of ammo left and the Panzer 1's down he's been taken out and there's no further enemy nearby so I'm gonna have to make my way into the enemy area but then I see the M2 light be behind me and I line myself up can I hit him no, he's in Depolade. I can't hit him. The rock's in the way. So I'm going to have to get closer. Change the angle. No, I decide to leave him to the uh, Panzer 35T and the T1 HMC. And I'm headed into the enemy area to cap. There's uh, still four enemy tanks left now. Making my way up the Abbey Road. It's painfully slow. The forward speed of this... Uh, particular um, SPG is not that great okay right there's the T1 uh, M2 I can hit him now lining him up for a shot just lost the uh, cruiser 3 okay sitting there dialing in hopefully he'll still be there round out and I hit him definitely got him Five rounds of ammo left and he's moved. Okay, good job I didn't shoot that last round up boys. Fired where I thought he would be and no, I missed him there. Trying to get him with the next shot. He moves and he gets taken out before I shoot. So I've now got four rounds of ammo left. There are four members of my team and two arties remaining on the enemy team. As I said, the, the speed is very slow. It can only do 22 kilometers an hour forwards, six kilometers an hour backwards, and that's walking pace. If you've ever seen an MS-1 in real life, there, there are a few mock-ups about uh, of what they actually look like. They are very, very slow. Basically, it's just um, a machine gun on a, a, or a heavy, heavy caliber um, um, cannon on uh, in a, a steel box and that's basically all it is okay now looking for the enemy now it's indications are that the enemy might be an a7 and a8 but I'm gonna head up into the cap area and there's one of the enemy okay it's an SU-18 he's been spotted I'm moving behind the rock so he can't see me dialing in on target he seems to be aiming himself Dialing in and round out. Kill shot. So I've still got three rounds left and that was my third kill. There's nobody to platoon with so I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, there's the other enemy. It's a Lloyd gun carriage. The last enemy. I've got three rounds left to kill him. Dial in on target. He's aiming at me. He fires and misses. I fire and miss. But well, I got a slight chunk of him 15 hit points dialing in completely and round out kill shot and one round left and that wins the battle if only i'd actually wasted that last round i could have taken him out to get a faden's medal uh but as it is i managed to get a win eight of three four three seven according to the system so let's have a look and see what the results were and it's an ace tanker for general disturbance in the su-18 i also managed to detonate one of the enemy tanks i don't know which i think it might have been the t1 hmc or the t2 medium but uh, one of them definitely exploded because the ammo rack went up um i also managed to get a fighter badge because i killed at least four enemy and because i actually killed all three rt the uh, t1 hmc the uh, su-18 and the lloyd gun carriage i managed to get a counter battery fire medal on top of that, I managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. I got seven during that battle. Uh, the win eight was actually five, four, one, nine in the end. So let's have a look and see what the team score was. Well, I got the highest damage, 4, 476 hit points of damage overall. I shared the title of the top highest number of kills with the Cruiser 3. We both managed to get four. Uh, but when it came to base XP, I managed to get 620. And that was the winning score when it came to the RT contest. Now... I fired 23 rounds during that battle. I got 11 direct hits, 9 penetrations, and 5 splash. 
damage of 476 hit points, of which 124 were at more than 300 meters. Um, I spotted two enemy vehicles. Uh, I think those might have been the RT. Uh, I damaged nine of the enemy and killed four of them. And I did damage assistance of 35 hit points. And I think that was of the uh, T2 or the R35. I think it may have been the R35 actually because he was tracked at the time. Um, I earned 13,952 uh, credits. Uh, and after ammunition resupply, and the ammunition is really cheap on this uh, particular RT, uh, I was still left with 13,078 credits on a premium account. Um, I earned 930 XP, but it was time uh, times three for the first victory of the day, so I actually took away 2,790. And here's the figure that's the important one, 620 base XP. The same figure that shows on this table here, that is the base XP score, which is obviously worked out based on the types of vehicles you hit and how often and how much damage you did. Um, and so um, this is the uh, equivalent score that you use for working out uh, uh, how one RT did against another, uh, say in the same tier. Um, so uh, that was uh, the winning entrant for the uh, tier two. Um, and others tried to uh, beat that but failed uh, to do so but we've got some of those replays so I will convert those to video so you'll be able to see exactly uh, how these players did and some of them did extremely well and they tried very hard to, to beat my score but they were unable to on the day uh, after all it is only held over a weekend so you have to get all your scores in over that weekend which meant non-stop RT playing uh, for most of those two days um, which became very very tiring after a while but uh, I hope you enjoyed this replay if you did please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video